Hello friends, in this video we will learn about milling osmoles, its definition, formula and some sample questions. So let's begin. Milling osmoles, we basically find out the osmotic pressure. Osmotic pressure is proportional to the total number of particles in solution. We have two types of solution, non-electrolytes and electrolytes. No, non-electrolytes are those solutions in which solute does not dissociate into its ion or electrons. For example, dextrose or fructose or sucrose or gluconate, such type of solute we suppose that they are not going to dissociate in solution and we assume them as a non-electrolyte. So their one millimole is equals to the one formula weight in milligram and it represent one milli osmoles. Simply you have to remember that for non-electrolytes milli osmoles will be equals to its millimoles when the formula weight or the atomic weight will be in milligram. The next one is for electrolytes. Electrolytes are those that dissociate when dissolved in water or any solution. For example, sodium chloride, calcium chloride, sodium citrate. So since they dissociate, we count the number of total particles present in solute. For example, we have sodium and chloride. We have one sodium and one chloride. So one plus one is equals to two milli osmoles. Sodium and chloride are the total particles in a solution. If we have one millimole of calcium chloride, so you can clearly see that we have one calcium and two atoms of chloride. So 2 plus 1 is 3 milli osmoles. Similarly, if we have 1 millimole of sodium citrate, so these are 4 millimoles, how? 3 atoms of sodium and 1 atom of citrate. So for electrolytes, you have to be very conscious when you are doing milli osmole questions. For non-electrolytes, it's simply 1 millimole will be equals to 1 milli osmole. Let's see some questions. Oh, sorry. Let's see some formula. So, sim um, very simple. Osmol per liter will be equals to weight of substance in gram per liter. Then divided by molecular weight of that atom in grams. Remember that these are in grams. Multiply by number of species. If we want to find out milli osmoles, then we have to multiply this whole equation with 1000. And remember again that the value is in gram. In case we have value in milligram, so we will not multiply it with 1000 because this 1000 is actually converting osmol into milli osmoles. So this is the simple point you have to remember when you are trying to solve your question. All questions in this video are from Pharmaceutical Calculation 13th edition by Howard C. Answer. Our first question is the ideal osmolarity of 0.9% sodium chloride injection is. In first step, we will find out the weight of a substance in gram per liter. So we know that 0.9% means 0.9 gram in 100 milliliters and there are 1000 milliliters in 1 liter. When we calculate it, we got 9 grams per liter. In next step, we will find the molecular weight in grams. So sodium has 23 atomic weight and chloride has 35.5 atomic weight. When we add them together, we got 58.5. So put everything in our formula. Milli osmoles per liter is equals to weight of substance in grams per liter, which is 9. 
and then atomic weight of the substance in grams 58.5 since they both are in grams we will put thousand to convert them in milli and one atom of sodium plus one atom of chloride we have total particles two when we calculate everything we got 308 milli osmoles per liter next question we have a solution contain 156 milligram of potassium ions per 100 milliliter. How many milli osmoles are represented in a liter of solution? We know that atomic weight of potassium is 39. We have 1 millimole of potassium that is 39 milligram equals to 1 milli osmoles. Now remember that usually atomic weight is represented in grams but here we are writing milligrams. To know why we are writing this you have to watch my previous video. I will put the link. Those who are following me from the beginning they must know that when there is millimole and there is milli osmole it will be equals to milligram. So check that video if you don't understand this statement. Next statement which is stated in Ansel is 156 milligram potassium per 100 milliliters is equals to 1560 milligrams of potassium per liter. So I am going to elaborate this statement here to understand in a better way. We have 166 milli 156 milligram in 100 milliliters. For 1 liter that is 1000 ml, how much milligram do we have? When we put everything here, calculate it, we got 1560 milligrams. That's how they calculate this value. In next step, we will put all these stuff in our formula. So 1560 milligram per liter is the weight of substance. Then 39 milligram is molecular weight. And multiply by 1 since there is only 1 ion and we will not multiply with 1000 because there is the values are in milligrams. When we calculate everything we got 40 milli osmoles. Next question a solution contains 10 milligram percent here they mentioned milligram because usually when it is stated that then percent it means 10 gram in 100 ml here they mention milligram that means 10 milligram in 100 milliliters of calcium ions how many milli osmoles are represented in 1 liter of the solution we know that atomic weight of calcium is 40 again 1 millimole of calcium will be equals to 40 milligram represent 1 milli osmoles. Then Ansel stated that 10 milligram percent of calcium that is 10 milligram of calcium per 100 ml or 100 milligram of calcium per liter. Let's understand this statement in a better way. 10 milligram is in 100 milliliters. How much will be in 1 liter or 1000 milliliters? When we calculate it, we got 100 milligrams. That what, that's what they are saying here. 10, 100, milligram, 100 milligram of calcium per liter. Next, we put all our values in formula. We got 100 milligrams per liter weight of substance. Then 40 milligrams molecular weight. Then number of species or number of ions is only calcium here. So we put 1. We do not put 1000 because the value is already in milligrams. When we calculate it, we got 2.5 milli osmoles. Let's see another example. How many milli osmoles are represented in 1 liter of 0.9% sodium chloride solution? 1 milli mole of sodium chloride is equal to 2 milli osmoles. Because there are 
two ions. Now the formula weight of sodium chloride is 58.5. We conclude it as 1 millimole of sodium chloride 58.5 milligram is equals to 2 milliosmoles. Then Ansel stated this statement like 1000 multiplied by 0 0.009 is equals to 9 grams or 9000 milligrams of sodium chloride per liter. Let's understand this statement in a better way. Point we have according to the question. 0.9 grams in 100 ml. So how much will be in liter? When we calculated we got 9 grams per liter. Then for grams to milligram we multiply it with 1000. That's what they stated 9000 milligrams of sodium chloride per liter. We move further. We have 2 milliosmoles in 58.5 milligrams. Then how many milliosmoles in 9000 milligrams? When we calculate it we got 307.7 rounded 308 milliosmoles. Next question. A solution contains 5% of anhydrous dextrose. Remember that dextrose is a non-electrolyte solution. In water for injection, how many milliosmoles per liter are represented by this concentration? Formula weight of anhydrous dextrose is 180. Usually, they give it in question when they ask in exam. 1 millimole of anhydrous dextrose, 180 milligram, we will consider it 1 milliosmoles because dextrose will not dissociate in solution. And then we have a statement 5% solution contain 50 grams or 5000 milligrams per liter. Let's see how. If we have 5 grams in 100 ml according to 5%, then how much we will have in 1000 milliliters? When we calculate it, we got 50 grams per liter. This 50 is multiplied by 1000 to convert it into milligrams. We got 50,000 milligrams per liter. We put everything in the formula. We have 50,000 milligrams weight of substance, then molecular weight 180, and then 1 milliosmole is here. When we calculate it, we got 277.78 milliosmoles per liter. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye for now.